Hello, this is Roy from Tesla Owners US and we have Anne-Marie and Ivan here. Ivan. Ivan here again and we put the air conditioning a little bit lower because it's blowing and then you hear that on the video. Uh, we don't want and that. And what comes after that comes after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life And then here is the beautiful car <laughs> Yes, come around Now we are here. So it has been uh, since March. March. March so is when you we had the, the car, car right? Uh -huh. Right. So and you probably saw that, and I saw you some show you also some pictures from that. They wrapped their car. Right. My recommendation is always to wrap it because it protects the pain. Protect Absolutely. The pain, right? And you wrap the car, and you have a very unique wrap. We do. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, it's the Arizona sunset. Arizona sunset, sunset wrap. Yes. And it's very individual because it's it, it looks it's typical Arizona. Yeah. Look, right. And tell me a little bit about your car when you had it the first time. How to get used to this, and when you're driving it, who likes to drive it first? I do. <laughs> yeah, no. So you like to drive it as I well, do, right? I do. I like the, the one pedal. That's what I love. The uh, yes, the, the completely one, one pedal. Yeah, right? so. don't use the brakes at all. Mm -hmm. There, I, I have driven um, many a cars throughout my life. Yes. And this one happens to be the most pleasurable to drive. It is so comfortable. The seats, they don't make you tired. The the way the car handles is and, and you're sitting a little bit up is that correct so because that's an SUV style right car and this is and more I comfortable for course. you right yeah and I can get in and out easy yes when we had this into the shop yeah they gave us they doing the recall on the air conditioner and <clears throat> they let us they gave us a loaner and it was yes. a, a model 3 yes it was so hard to get in and out of the Model 3. I mean, yes. you you have to bend down, you have to, this thing is easy to slide in and out. When yeah. we took it to Oregon yes. to see my brother, he has a Model 3. I let him drive this, he, uh. sa he said, I gotta have a Y now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about the tour to Oregon. All right, I gotta so. tell you, there's such a thing as charging anxiety. Oh, yes, there is something like because that. Because you don't know if the car is really going to get you to that place. Yes. Or how much you're going to have left for sure. Yes, So, but you have pretty much 300 miles on one charge, right? Well, so about, about. But now when you have the air conditioner running. And then you and and then you're driving up faster. And, up and down, down the hills. hills. It, all, it yeah. all takes, Yeah. you know, you have to, you have to pay attention. Yes. And what I tried to do was make sure that I... Once I got to the point where I knew I was going to drop below 75 miles in charge, yes, I wanted to make sure that there was a charging station really close by. Yes. And yes. and the way the the charging stations are set up, yeah, and you can call them up on the on the screen, yeah. It made it a little easier on the mind. You know, you didn't have to worry so much about it. Yes, and you could also that you can say you have a final destination you can put in there. And it, it calculates all the way through. Yes, it does. It does. Yes. But it doesn't tell you uh, destination charging. You know, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You have to, uh, when you want to uh, have a break in between, you want to look for a nice destination Yeah, charger. but it's hard to find that. Sometimes we couldn't find it. Yes, they couldn't find 
that's why I, I do a little planning ahead. So I, I know, okay, and this day I want to stop in California and here is a nice destination charge at that oh, hotel. So then yeah. plan and on then, stopping there. Yeah, I'm planning on stopping there. I'm really planning. I, but you almost, you made it actually the way of not planning the trip, right? So right. you, 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 you just start driving and uh, exactly and yeah and the the like when we were going up yeah we were on uh, uh, Route 93 going through Nevada yes and we had a, a plenty of a charge and here's the thing there was it's a two lane highway yeah and there was three cars and a truck in front of me yes. I was doing 75 with cruise control, and when I got behind the three cars in the truck, they were doing 65, and I said, uh, I'm not doing this, no, yeah. I've got to go. Yes. So I looked, I said, okay, it's clear, I stepped on the pedal, pedal and within three, maybe four seconds, yes. I'm around all three cars and the truck, and I'm pulling back in, and I look, and I'm doing 110 miles an hour. It uh, was that. Quick. You let me know if we have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, no. You don't realize it, you're going. You don't realize. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean you, fast, you don't right? feel the 110 no. miles an hour. It, it just goes. It's so smooth. It, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. And you did also a whole bunch of stuff with the carbon here in the car. You did uh, nice carbon so that usually because it's pretty sensitive when you have no foil on it as well. So that but you see that, all of your glares, fingerprints it yeah. and it glares yeah. as well. Yeah, if the yeah. sun's shining right, it glares on. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why we did the carbon fiber here because they tinted the windows in the front. Yes. A little yeah. bit. And yeah. with, with the white that ran across there, it's, it's bright. The sun would. Yeah, glow. And it, I couldn't see the mirror, and so yeah. I said, "Okay, we'll put carbon fiber on there." And it, yeah. I, I think it looks better. It looks better. It, yeah. uh, it looks more uh, stylish. Stylish. Yes, stylish that's, a, that's a good word. Yeah. <laughs> we have a stylish car. Yeah, yes, you, know you do. We did, uh, did, did people talk to you about uh, the car? Yeah. About yes, before? all the time. And when we dropped the car off and we picked it up, the the service guy who's oh, we had a lot of customers come compliment you on your car wrap it's absolutely gorgeous beautiful and I says it's the only way to go yes yes you need, you need to have an, a, a nice wrap on the car yeah. so also to, to to see you always recognize your car yeah yes. so, and and you stop probably at the supercharger in a uh, quad side right is probably no. No, no we didn't no. go that way we went ah, to no, King, you went, uh, Kingman. We went, we went you went to Kingman. Kingman. We went 93 to Kingman and Kingman we went uh, to Vegas, right? right. We, went, we went through uh, Vegas, 93 all the hit, way straight hit 40, up to yeah, yeah. King, then through Vegas, and then we took uh, 93 out of Vegas going through Nevada. And yes. that's, and, and and that's it, just, uh, just almost like going through uh, Das Valley. So yes, it's exactly. Very close. Right? Very you, close. You, you, go right by, you go right by uh, uh, Area 51. Yes, yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And plus, there was a, a, a Air Force base there. I'm not sure what the name of it was, but I looked out in the field, and there was all these bunkers. That's probably classified too. The bunkers are there. I mean, well, I know, <laughs> but you're not supposed to say what's there. I'm not going to say what's in them. <laughs> and I'm looking. I'm thinking, ah, oh, what the heck are those for? Well, my brother, who used to be in the Air Force, he retired. Yeah. He says, yeah, that's those are bunkers for. And he know he knows. He it. knows what yeah. they are. Uh, and we're going on a trip in two weeks. Oh, to Idaho. oh, cool! Yeah, to gonna go, Idaho. Gonna go up to see my mother. These are the two places where I have not been. I have not been in Oregon or in Idaho. Idaho. I have been in any other state, Everyone. but not in those two. Really? States. Yes. Well, you have to take a trip. <laughs> yes. Have you been to Connecticut? Yes. Yes, Connecticut. Okay. Okay. I'm from Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and you go to Idaho. Yeah. So, and then you have a little cooler because it's quite hot here today. Well, it's hot, well, in, it's Idaho hot, too. It's hot in Idaho because oh, my, really? mother, yeah, my mother lives in what they call the Snake River Valley. Yeah. And the temperature in Snake River Valley for the last week has been over in, over the hundreds. It's been wow. 108, 109. 
but they do have air conditioning there as well. No, no. nobody has nobody air conditioning has there. It. What? Because it's not normal. Because because you don't need it. Because their temperature in the in the summertime, rarely. Then I it. say good that you bought this car because yeah. you are contributing to no additional CO2 exactly. in the atmosphere. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Right. right. So and you're charging your car from the roof, from yeah. your own yep. roof, from right? my own roof. Yes. Yeah. Right. So. The only time I use the superchargers is when run when you're on the trip. Did you right? use yours? Did you use your miles yet? You have to use it by August. Yeah, I have two cars, not with my Model X is currently in service, but uh, they are supercharger free. When I bought the car, they're supercharger free. Really? Oh, really? Yes. Wow. But yes. At well, the, what are you going to do with those supercharger miles? Uh, someday I wait for the Cybertruck, and maybe when the Cybertruck comes, oh. you are interested yeah. in the yeah. Cybertruck. I would, I would love to look at that. Yes, absolutely. So I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the Cybertruck, and then I'm gonna use the miles for that. Yeah, very good. So they are still uh, so, expiring. So I think late last year, last year, next year. Let me ask a question. Do you think that Ford, who has now an F-150, is yes. all electric? Yes, and there's another uh, manufacturer called Rivian. They have also uh, a, a new truck. Really? It's a regular size truck. Uh, looks like a regular truck, not like a cyber truck, right? So they do have that as well. But you know, that what, the thing what I don't want to miss, and you are the perfect example for that, you can start driving and you said, we're going on a road trip right now and do not plan, do any don't planning. Don't planning, yeah. If I do that with Ford, well, with uh, with oh, Rivian, you can't. Oh, no, 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 yeah. You then can't. I have to say, where are my next chargers? Can I yeah. make it there? Yeah. And all of that. It, it this is not. This is not. That's, everything is on the screen. It just. It, it's. Yes. It is very user friendly. Did Did you have also the message where the system says, please drive slower to make it to the next supercharger? We never. No, we no. never got no, the charge. Never got, got, not, no, never no, no, got no. It He down never that let low. it get down. He always did more than. What but you know said. that is clever because you should never go to under twenty percent. Right. No. Be, because first of all, you are uh, observing system. You are. Uh, Sentry, yeah, it, sentry it will mode. tell you the sentry mode. Well, it did. It did. It did tell me sometime when I got down to a certain point when I parked to charge it. Yeah. It said your sentry uh, mode, mode is, is off. Well, not is, uh, is not off. operational. Right. Yeah. Yes, because you're under twenty percent. Yeah. Correct. So, but uh, for when you go to the supercharger, recommended is best rate of charge you can achieve when you are about ten percent. So when you go lower than ten percent, then the voltage of the car is going so low that it takes very long to, to build it back to up. build it back up to get really a lot of kilowatts in the car. Right. So yeah. when you are about 10%, between 10 and 20%, that's stop. the best time to stop, to, to stop charge it because then it really pumps in. The other thing that it told me is I set it for trip. Yes. And so every time I went to the supercharger, it charged it full, 300 and yeah, it says 325, but I think the most I saw was like 318 miles. <clears throat> when I got to my brother's house, who has a Tesla, yeah, I plugged it into his supercharger. To, to his charger, yes. Yeah, yeah. To his, his charger at home. Yeah. Well, when I got back in the car, it gave me a message. It's not good to charge the battery uh, completely really? unless you're taking yeah, a trip. trip. <laughs> yes, that's the case. And I'd already reached yes. my destination on navigation, so it yeah. knew that I was so, not... So, but there, there, there's another uh, advantage what you should do. I, I never, when I'm on, gonna, on going on a supercharger, I'm going on a supercharger charge between 70 and 80 percent. Because I'm not never charging all the way no. top 100 percent. No. Because the last 20% takes, takes the same time. time takes the same time as, as the, the first uh, 80 yeah, yeah. that's correct what the first 70% so Did that's that mean why by anxiety because uh, <laughs> if, if you want to keep going, you just say, okay, I keep going, and then you go to the next one. Well, we did, the next we did one. that too. Yeah, we passed what, it a couple when, times. Uh, when it looked like it was getting a little low, I would say, okay, where's the next supercharger? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we pull in there, get charged, get a sandwich, walk yeah. around, have a drink, whatever. Not, you know, it would tell me this is where you need to stop. Yes. And I said, well, I want to stop before that. And yes. That, and that way, it don't take so long to charge it up. Uh, okay. What what Tesla 
what the navigation system sometimes recommends is that you are skipping superchargers, basically not to keep them busy. I do, I ignore that. So I, I say, okay, I'm gonna go from 10 to 80 percent uh, or 70 percent charging. So and then I'm visiting every supercharger right. almost right. on right. the trip yeah. and not skipping anyone. Right. Sometimes it tells you the message skipping anyone because there's maybe a damage on the charger or there is very busy that you should skip one. But I really never do that. So yeah. I, I, I just only go trip to trip and there is um, called a better route planner. When you use this, a better route planner and put your car in there it gives you a different uh, uh, plan in order to go from one charger to another. Because is said, it on here? Uh, you can put it on the yes. You can put it on on the website and called a, all one word a better route plan a better route, route planner dot com. So and it suggesting you a different one. And it even would connect to your car with your username and password, connect to your car and give you on your current actual power in a battery uh, the, 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 the ideal way to, to charge. Because sometimes what Tesla does, they're skipping a charger for you so that you can keep driving. But uh, 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 I almost visit every charger on my route yeah. because I only want to charge between 10, right. 20%, 20 to 70, 80%. Right. Before our trip, you yes. come down and show me how to put it on there. Yes. Would you? Yes, okay. I will. I will. So the, the, the only problem that we had on our trip going up and coming back is it was late night. Yeah. And we were looking for a supercharger and yeah. it was telling us where it was at. Yeah. The problem was that there was only two cha two stations. Ooh. And a truck had pulled in front of both stations. And, and, I and blocked it? Yes, yeah. and I couldn't find the supercharger. We were looking and looking. <clears throat> so I finally saw it, and I, saw it. I said, well, the truck is in the way. So when I backed, I finally got to where I could back into it, and the truck driver came out of the convenience store. Yeah. And I hollered, I said, what are you doing parking in front of these? And he just laughed at me. He just laughed and I said, yeah, one of these days. You know what? Uh, if you do that in Arizona, call the police. Yeah. It's a $350 minimum fine. Yeah. Well, this, this, was this, in, this was in Kingman. No, it was in Barstow. No. It was, it, was in, in a, it was in California. It was in California. California, is, I yeah. think, is also a fine, but you have to know the California law. But it was law. like a 7-Eleven. I, I definitely tell you, in Texas, there is no fine. No. Oh, no. There, it's a 7-Eleven, then I know what it is. Then it must be in needles. Probably it, that, was like, yeah, it, was it was a needle. It was a needle because yeah. that is a supercharger. There were only a few there. Two, uh, two uh, stations. At a, yeah. at a gas station. Yeah. Yes, yep. yes. Exactly. Yes, I know that exactly. supercharger there. Yes. Yeah. So, but other than that, it was fine, perfect. Yeah. No problems. But you know, you cannot influence those people who are parking in front of you. I, I no. had that before. I, yeah. I had one. I had one guy with a truck and a trailer pulling in front of all superchargers oh. all across blocking six of them wow that's not right and then i said can you just pull through and then take that double parking here and 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 do your stuff what you need to do there and not on a supercharger because nobody else can park and he was not uh, agreeing to that no no he, he said oh no i need to do it but and you have to wait and then I'm not, I told him that. No, then I go out with a pocket knife and jab all of these tires. <laughs> yes. Let's see how long you're going to wait now. Yeah, now. He told me something very different there. And then some people even who worked before with Tesla, they charged on their two remaining ones. They were very embarrassed about that, oh. right? Because he said, uh, oh, what is your accent? <gasps> and I said, yeah, I'm, he said, you know, I'm American. I'm American citizen as you are. No, I was before here than you. Oh, oh what a jerk. My goodness. So, and I said, okay. So, and then there was another lady came there and once she wanted to charge there. And then he said, oh, I don't have an electric car. And the lady said, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, so, but we're waiting for the, uh, for the cyber truck. So I'm on the order list. Okay. When I get my cyber truck. I you, have to come get, see it. You get a test drive. Oh, yeah, all right. Yes. 
You get a test drive. That'd be good. Lucky me. So that's a, the, the Cybertruck has also on the slant back, there's kind of a slant back right. on the on the on the whole area there. Yeah, it's it like has an, an like an avalanche. Yes. You've seen the Chevy Avalanche, it's got a yeah, kind of that taper back, that yeah. slant down. And right. on that slant down that is automatic because you can pull it in and out. Oh really? Yes. And it is photovoltaic. It's a there's a panel basically on that. Wow. So you can probably charge, they're guessing about 20 miles a day, just only from staying outside in the sun. Uh, that's yes. what they need to do with the roofs yeah. on these. Yes. Yes. Just put solar panels on yeah. that would charge the battery. They they think, at first they thought, um, maybe not, but they're thinking about it. Uh, for the, well, if they can put them on the space shuttle. It, it's <laughs> it's going to be an option for the Cybertruck, I think. Well, very good. Yeah. Very good. So, and so how do you like in total the car? So you had some problems with the air conditioning, right? No but there problem. was a recall, recall, right? Yeah, the recall. It's a recall, and then they said, "Oh, let's fix it for you." They gave you a loaner also. Yeah. Yep. Well, for the first two days yep. that they had our car, mm -hmm. they gave us a, a, a voucher for yeah. Uber. Yeah. So if we needed to go someplace, they yeah. gave, gave us a ride home. If we need to go someplace. We could use the Uber to go whatever, and, yeah. they, and they paid for that. And then they called us up after the second day and says, hey, we now have a loaner. Come and get it. So we took an Uber from here to there. And you got, got the a, loaner. Yes. And it, it was all fine. Yes, yes. So they got me they got me a loaner there as well, as you see that in the in the garage where my model X is currently. Yeah. What? In uh okay. for yeah, the it's the last inspection before my warranty runs out. Oh, okay. Because at fifty thousand miles and four years your warranty runs out. Right. Oh. So I have forty eight thousand miles on it. And we're gonna go with the trailer soon again with yes. our, our car and uh, that needs to be uh, basically And where are you going? We're going to towards San Diego and uh, more in the mountains and there's a little lake there and uh, it's it's a it's a it's a park an RV park right so there's a little lake there and there's mini golf miniature golf and there's a whole bunch of activities you what you can fun. do wonderful yeah so we want to go there and we're gonna pull our trailer again very so. good and the next trip for you is to Idaho, Idaho. correct so yep. we're going a different trip then then you're going a different route yes Utah we'll go, we'll, right we'll through go up Utah. to Kingman so up to Utah yeah through we'll Utah. go to Kingman yeah through Las Vegas once you get through Las Vegas then we catch interstate 50 yes it goes all the way north yes and then you're arriving in uh, Idaho somewhere. Idaho Falls Idaho Falls that oh there's a super church in Idaho Falls as well I'm sure right? oh yes <laughs> then, yeah then, my, yeah. my brother who drove his Tesla from Oregon to there? Yeah, he he could have plugged into Mom's electricity with the the, the one ten, but yes. that takes forever to charge. Yes. So he says, "Well, I just went over to the supercharger, charged it up, and brought it over to Mom's place, and then we left the next morning." So it yeah, works for me. Yes. Or what you can also do is what I sometimes do is I go into a supercharger, charge it up to 80, 90 percent. And then going home, and then pluck it in 120 and to, to top it, it off yeah. to 100. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So, and uh, that's a good idea. Oh, please also take your uh, emergency charger, your charging bag, with you. Yes. At the time. I don't have a charging bag. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's in a trunk. It's a, it's in a trunk. Yes. It's that, underneath the thing. The 110. Yes. The 110. The 110. Yes. Yeah. 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 Take that with you because. You never know what happens. I always right? have it in the truck, car. Yes. Okay. Good. Always back there. Okay, good. Good. You are you are now an experienced electric car. Yeah, electric car. I am. <laughs> and I, you know, I try to tell everybody that I talk to. Listen, you think it's expensive to buy the car outright? Well, yes, it's a yes, lot it of is. money. But then let's look. You're saving over, probably over two thousand dollars in five years on your vehicle registration. Correct. That's what I'm thinking as well. Plus... Because you don't have to, in the five years, you don't have to pay any that's correct. big license tax. Well, you, you buy a brand new at the car, you buy a brand new gas car, the first year registration is going to run you $800. Yeah. yeah. And the next year is going to be $600. Right. And the year after that is going to be maybe 550 The year after that... So in the five years, yes. you paid $725 for registration for five years. That's a savings, okay? Yeah. Plus the fact I have solar on my house. Yes. I drive the car for nothing. Yes. And then the other ones have to go to the gas station. Exactly. Right? 
and the other ones you have to change the oil, you have to do this, you have to. There's no maintenance on these things. Yeah. The, I, it's the best idea anybody could come up with. We're so okay, high good. Tech. Because now look, man, you uh, you did maintenance from uh, Harley's, right? Motorcycles, right. Harley's, right? Right. And there is all there was also uh, oil change on that. Uh, gearbox change yep. and brakes and brake parts and, yep. and all of all that. that kind of stuff. So now Harley comes out with the Lightning. What do you think about that? I heard about it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. But I, I'm, I would like to see one, but I, yeah. I don't know where they're at right now. I have never seen yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, I'm happy that you are happy with oh. the car and you're making the tours with the car and don't use the gas cars. Very so pleased. You, Very pleased. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So can you could could you recommend that for other ones to absolutely. buy? Absolutely. I, like I tell everybody, you know, yeah. you ought to think about buying a Tesla electric car. We got to so, give them our website. Yeah. <laughs> well, I give my brother's website and then something happened. He can't buy the Y now. So, but that's all right. I'll find somebody else who's going to buy one. I'll say, hey, here's my website. Here's my website. We'll get yeah. some miles. Yeah. Uh, the links, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You, use the link, yeah, yeah, use the link there. Yeah, use the link and get some miles and then get, then you make him another free trip, trip. Right. Right? I have a, yeah. I have a present from my brother. Oh. The, they gave it to us. It's a red Model 3. Yes. And he has a red Model 3. Because so. we know what happened, only the first guys got these cars, right? right. As a present right. when they bought it originally. Then they got this. I have one of one. You I have, have a red one model too? three, and I yeah. have one of these as well. Yeah. Really? So and uh, and yeah, give him give him that. Yeah, give him that, like it. Give him that as a present, yeah. and then he has this little car. And we have a special gift for you. Yeah. We don't I'm, have it yet. I'm, so. I'm waiting. For oh, it. that's a no. It's yeah, not necessary. It's special. When you when you see this gift, you're gonna be so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna say, "Wow, where did that come from?" Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and it, you have it nicely wrapped as well, and uh, it's the white interior does good yeah, for you, it. right? You I can wipe it off. Is yeah. there something going on? Baby yeah, wipes. the ba baby, baby wipes, wipes right, <laughs> right away. Yeah, yeah, and everybody says, "Oh, white! I can't sit in there. I'll get it all dirty." Don't worry about it. I mean, this yeah, is tough good stuff. Leather. This is good, good stuff, right? Right. I don't know if it's leather or not, but it's yeah. yeah they call it vegan it leather. It feels like leather, yeah. but it's I think it's more comfortable. It's right. Very comfortable. Yeah. And uh, so, you could recommend the car. Absolutely. Yes, you recommend for, it for other people. Yes. And uh, what are your special experiences that what hey, what? What is the most you you said the most amazing is the one pedal drive? Yes, I like that right? the best. So that's my favorite. Do you do you, you like the acceleration? I or? like the acceleration, and I also like the safety features on the car. Oh yes, yes. Because it, you can set the length of behind. Um, yeah, high drive. Yeah, so if you're if you're a cruise control at 75 and you come up on a vehicle, yeah, and you have the length set at four car lengths, mm -hmm. when you get within four car lengths, it slows down automatically. Yeah, and it follows that car until that car moves out of the way, and then it accelerates back to 75. Yeah, that is absolutely the best. Yeah, it, it's also very really relaxing to drive. Yes, and that's why you are like me in a little higher age let me say it like that right but you're still going on a long road trip because for idaho i think there's almost a thousand miles to idaho it's uh 960 miles from my, yes. do my driveway to my mother's driveway yeah that's but what we, I was we stop we stop halfway yes yeah as you get down all your dean overnight and so the night. yeah i recommend look for a nice destination charger so when you go to the Tesla website, Tesla web, Tesla.com slash charging, and then you look for destination chargers and look for a nice destination charger alongside your stop. route yeah. where you like to stay. Right. And then book that, book that destination charger. And then while you're driving and booking, you said, I would like to reserve your charger, ah, your Tesla charger yeah. at that site when I'm you coming and not get stuck. I, I do that all the time. Right. So I... And then they, sometimes they have excuses. Oh, we do not reserve that. And said, Oh, you know, you reserve, you reserve uh, rooms. Then you can reserve a charger there as well. And most of the time, said people saying, Oh, that's not so busy. You will always get charged. Yeah. So, but that's what I would do. At least 
look for your destination charger when you know you have a stop there and then you said I'm gonna stop there and, and charge. So we can do that not on here but on the website. And I would do it it's easier. Ahead of time. You can probably also do it on here but I would do it on the website. Yeah. I would do it on the website tesla.com slash charging. Charging. And then it looks all of the charging options and one of them is the destination. destination chargers and then you click on that and then you go alongside your route on the map and said, oh, you know, I like to stay in Nevada or in Utah here at Salt Lake there or wherever it is. And then you find a nice destination charger. We didn't even you know about destination. You, you, His brother told us about it. I didn't oh, know, yeah? I didn't even know there was... So it, you can see it. <coughs> you have a nice destination charger. i tell you where that is here as well. You see that? And... Uh, now that's your home. That's my home. No, it was... Where it is it? Literally is that, it? that one. The Wigwam. The Wigwam have two chargers. The Wigwam has two destination chargers. See? I see that. So when you go to the Wigwam to the red, right? What I do, I'm gonna park at the destination charger there, plug in, go to the restaurant, eat something, and come out and get a free charge. Ah. So, so when you so go. So it's free. You can that's go. Free. It's free. It's free. Yeah. It's gonna be 48 amp. So it's level two chargers, L similar to like at home, maybe a little bit charged faster. So, okay. but these are all destination chargers, and they are only black or gray. They're black or gray. gray. Basically, not. you could also look it up here, but on the, it's more convenient to look it up on on the computer okay. at home. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Good. Hey, I wish you a very nice thank trip. You. Yeah, thank and you. And you had good experience with the car. I'm oh, happy yeah. about that. Happy. And, uh, and uh, I promise you that when my next uh, car comes, the uh, Cybertruck. Okay. We need a ride in it. We need a ride. Yes, yes. You, will, right. you will get a ride. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. We say thank you to all and of them watching. Bye. And we say goodbye. Bye-bye. We carry on.